Welcome back. Mary Holmes Community College in West Point left a lasting impression on generations of young African Americans. The school closed permanently back in 2005, but those who sought higher education there say the memories they have will last a lifetime. WCBI's Victoria Bailey spent the day with some former students. She joins us in the studio now with more on the impacts Mary Holmes had on the lives of its students. Victoria. That's right, Andrea. Starting out in 1932 as a school that specialized in training elementary teachers for black communities to transitioning into a two-year accredited college. Mary Holmes has a rich history that I learned today. Former students will take with them forever. Some students need that start coming out of high school, and um, this was a start. It was found as Mary Holmes Seminary in Jackson, Mississippi. It changed to community college in West Point. But the mission has always been to help disadvantaged students all over the Southeast. Belinda Rice is a member of the Mary Holmes class of 89. She still drives by her old campus every day on her way to work. There's a missing piece of the puzzle uh, with the school being closed. Um, so much life. Uh, was on the campus, uh, and you knew Mary Holmes College was a place that, you know, when they had dances and gym, you could come out here even as a high school student and participate in uh, events. Mary Holmes Community College operated under the umbrella of the Presbyterian Church from its founding in 1892 until 1969 when it became independent. The school thrived through the 70s and 80s, and Rice says making the choice to attend Holmes was a no-brainer for her after other family members had earned degrees there. My sister actually attended before I did, and so I kind of like always wanted to come because she came, and I was out on the campus a lot with her. So being, you know, younger, <laughs> we uh, just got a love for the school, being in the community. It was a place to be that... Um, made you feel, you know, accepted, you know, as family. Just five years after closing its doors as a learning institute, the school was purchased by West Point Community Counseling in 2010 to help preserve the quickly deteriorating buildings. Several renovations have been done to the campus, but the original admissions building will be torn down in May. And then you've got this, you know, old piece of history sitting here. Richard Duggan is the CFO of the Community Counseling Branch in West Point. If left to its own devices, or it would be gone by itself. I mean, it would just fall in, uh, and it really became dangerous. And uh, you know, the city talked to us about maybe having it condemned. Walking through the doors, enrolling for the first time as a student, and and this was like this is the turning point of my life. And to see it go down, it's like, wow, this is really happening. The EPA partnered with Community Counseling to replace the Mead Administration building with a green space equipped with meditation trail and benches and additional parking for the chapel and museum. The date for demolition has not been set yet.